I love how my base looks. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. It was time to bring some color back to my channel. I've been doing cool tones, I've been doing purples, and it's been a little minute since I did pink, so this is what I came up with. I love how the look turned out. There were some surprises in this video. We're doing a face of first impressions. Most of this stuff is new or I shot my stash. So I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting and talk too much. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on my video and I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. If you wanna see how I got this look, Stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so let's jump into this makeup look. Most of the stuff that I have up here is either new or shopping my stash kind of thing. I need to go through some of the stuff I have and decide if I'm going to keep it and try to use it more or get rid of it. I wanna start doing like a project pan, use some stuff up, cause your girl is tripping with the shopping and buying stuff and not using it and then use it three, four months later and I hate it and I can't return it. So we're gonna cut that out and we're gonna make sure that we like this stuff and want to keep it versus just being stuck with it. We are gonna start off with primer and today I'm using the Benefit Professional which I have this little sample size. I got these, I don't know when or why, but I have like three of them and I've never used them. So we're gonna try this today. I'm gonna prime my face, let that sit. I'm gonna do my eyes and then finish my face. We're gonna see how this works today. I definitely like how my face feels smooth. It feels like I just put like a canvas on my face. I do notice a little bit of peeling, but I think that's just from my skincare, but it's only in certain areas, which is why I think that. So I'm okay with that. I know with products like these, they tend to work better if you push them into the skin and I was not doing that, so yeah we are fine so for eyes today i should have did my brows already but i'll do them off camera i don't know what palette i want to use i am leaning towards using this nabla cutie palette this is the coral palette i swatched this i got it over the summer i swatched it and then i've never used it like what is wrong with me so i want to use that today i also have this stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade dollish which i think is going to go perfect with what we are doing and it matches my nails it's cute i'm going to start off priming my lids with my p louise makeup base All right, just want to get that blended out and I'm not going to set it. We're just going to roll with it. Let's see what this pink looks like. It's called Feelings. I don't feel like there's really like a transition shade in here. So we're going to see how this looks, but I'm probably going to put it a little lower in the crease so I can go in with a lighter brown like my bronzer if needed. I'm also not sure if I want to use the pink shimmer or the kind of coral. So it's another reason why I wasn't sure about using this shade, but it's on there. Color is pigmented and it is blending well. Comment below and let me know if you guys have used Nabla shadows before. This is actually my first time. And like I said, I've had this palette for months now and just been using other stuff or doing my makeup off camera. I got on the cool tone train for a while, so that's another reason why. I hadn't been doing as much color as I normally do. 
All right, so we're starting with that. Definitely very pink. I feel like it is pretty true to color, so that looks good. All right, I decided to swatch those two shades real quick. The top one is the shade I Got You, which is the pink, and then the coral is Mandarin. This is what they look like. So as you can see, the pink is more of an actual shadow, and this is a topper. So I might be using them both because putting just the coral mandarin shade on top of my lid is not going to give me a lot of color payoff. So we're going to go in on the lid with I Got You and then maybe top it off. Or, oh, now you see, I was kind of thinking this is what mandarin would look like. This is what dollish looks like. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Okay, while I'm thinking on that, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up my crease with the shade anyway, which is the dark brown. And I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and bring that a little bit lower. These are definitely some good shadows. I've heard a lot of good stuff about Nabla. Like I said, I've just been trying so many other things I hadn't gotten around to it. Just darkening up that V. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I went ahead and did like a cute little cut crease, half cut crease. It's not really dark because I don't need to with this Stila shadow, but I just wanted to make sure the color shows up. This is not showing up as opaque as it did on my hand. So we're gonna put this on the inner corner and then I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow I mean, you can see it, but I just thought the way it applied on my hand, it was going to be a lot more pigmented. Am I tripping? Do y'all see what I mean? Like, it's pretty. It's just not what I was expecting, I guess. Maybe I need to add another layer. We will see. But I'm going to go in on the outer corner with I Got You. See, that's some color. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, glad I did not do my face first. I probably should have put this on with my finger, but look at that color payoff. That is a gorgeous shadow. If I would have known, I probably would have put this down first and then the Stila on top of it. That's what first impressions are. The shade is definitely gorgeous though. We're gonna see what Mandarin does. Cause I mean, at this point, <laughs> I don't feel like that Stila shadow was it. So we're just gonna put this on top of it in the inner corner. I mean, they pretty much look the same and just blend those together. I'm gonna take a little bit of this red shape shade here and just use that to lightly, ooh, that's a lot of pigment. Put that to blend these together. It's weird, cause looking at the shades in the palette, I'm like, ooh, this is a nice palette. I can put all these shades together and they're gonna work. And then putting them on my eye, I'm like, mmm. I feel like I need some other shades to kind of help blend all this together, but we gonna make it work. And then it doesn't help. Eyeshadow always looks crazy until I finish my face. So we're just gonna have to trust the process. Y'all have seen it come together, but I like how the shadows look. I guess it's just not what I was expecting. So we're gonna stop right here 
and I'm going to move on to the rest of my face and then we will get this together there's not a lot of fallout but there's some so I'm just gonna wipe that away with a makeup wipe and then we'll move on all right, fallout wasn't too bad. I cleaned up the edges just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This has been in my drawer for a while, at least a year, and I just opened it. That's what I'm talking about, that craziness. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sit. So for our face today, I have this Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. I am pretty sure this is dark, but we're gonna make it work. I bought this around Christmas and I got it on sale for like $10 on Laura Geller's website. So I'm pretty sure this shade is a little too dark, but we're gonna work with it. I feel like Laura Geller is like, what are they going out of business? Like, I don't know what's going on with them. Have y'all heard anything? because I don't really see that they're sold many places anymore. Maybe I'm wrong, but you girl be in the stores a lot. So <laughs> if I'm missing some, ooh, this is very liquidy. As you can see there, come on camera focus, running down my finger. So we're just gonna see this is one pump. Yeah, we're a little dark, but that's all right. Another reason I prefer my foundations a little dark is because it also helps cover up my hyperpigmentation better. And then I can just lighten up where I need to. So this is just one pump on the bottom of my face. Bringing the excess to the top. I'm gonna bring it down my neck a little bit just to help. And then, I mean, I can definitely see the luminosity, but I feel like oh, it's drying down pretty quick. Like there's a luminosity, but it's not still wet, if that makes sense. And I like that. Interesting. So we're going to do another pump and I'm going to actually, I think this was closer to like three fourths, not a full pump. And now we're just going to stipple that to help keep the coverage. It's been a little minute since I did a pink look. This is looking very sparkly. The shadows are definitely pigmented. It's just, I guess not what I was expecting, but it's not bad. All right, so now we're gonna move into concealer. I was, I have two options. I just got this Tarte C Hydro Sealer. Um, I just hauled this one, but then digging through my stash, I also have this Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I kind of want to try this one just because I've had it so long. Yeah, we're going to do that. Ooh, this is thick. Y'all look at that. Like it's not even bending. That is thick. I wonder if this is still good. I'm just going to put some, I probably should use my finger. Oh, I don't think this is bright enough for me. Ooh, that's thick, but. definitely has some coverage it is blending out well that is not light enough for me i'm gonna use it and then we may just go over it with a lighter setting powder this is in the shade what shade is this deep so that's why let's see how this la girl looks this is in the shade toffee nope not light enough either Oh for two. We're gonna go in with this 32N Medium Neutral Tarte C Hydro Sealer. That is my kind of shade right there. Thanks. There we go. It's not often that I feel like I have to go back in the tube. Maybe it's because just like not a lot is coming out. I feel like when I use like my Kylie or my Pat McGrath, like I dip in once and that gets both under eyes and a little bit of my nose. This is not spreading as well as those do. So I'm definitely gonna keep that tart one in my top drawer because there are some days, like if I'm going to the gym, 
in order to not have to deal with people. Oh, you look tired today. I'm actually not. And I just have under eye circles because I don't always sleep that well, but thanks. Um, I tend to put concealer under my eyes, but I don't want it to be as bright because I don't do my full face. So that other one, both of those other ones will probably be really good for that. The one that I normally use is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I will use that just under my eyes a little bit and set it with some powder and then I'm out the door. Like on days when I don't feel like wearing makeup but I still wanna look a little put together, that's what I do. But your girl is getting better with leaving the house with no makeup on. I'm like, who am I? I just, I don't like feeling like I look tired. Like I already know I'm tired. I don't need you to tell me that. That is the brightness that we wanted. So thank God, because those other two were not light enough for me. All right, so to set my under eye, I'm going to use this NYX Three Step Steps to Sculpt Face Palette. I used this a long time ago and I haven't used it since. So I'm just gonna take my powder brush and I'm gonna go into the yellow powder and I am going to set because all of these look like they are very hydrating and my under eyes do crease. So we're not gonna have that. But I'm curious to see how that Tarte one works because it says that it's creaseless and I've never, ever, ever had a creaseless concealer despite what the claims say. To set my face, I have my Fenty Beauty Honey Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. This I feel like is too dark to use under my eyes and I'm kicking myself because I bought it and I stuck it in my drawer and I didn't use it. Clearly I should have got a different shade, but I didn't know that because I didn't try it. So I'm just gonna lightly put this dusted on my face to help set. And because it's a little bit lighter, it'll also help balance out the color of the foundation that was a little too dark. To contour, I'm also gonna use that face palette. I also pulled this back out. I haven't used this since my Makeup Revolution or XX Revolution first impressions video. So I may use both. I'm just gonna run a little bit because I see this is dark down the sides of my nose to help set that. And then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution and just going around my hairline. I feel like I remember that one wasn't like extremely, extremely dark. So I feel like it's good for a con, not a contour, but a bronze. I mean, we ain't gonna be super chiseled today, but yeah, I still gotta carve them cheekbones out. See, now we're looking like it's almost a perfect match. Told y'all we were gonna make it work. For blush, I have this e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi-Stick in Luminous Berry. I remember swatching this. It says it's a versatile multi-use stick that can be used on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. I feel like I remember this had a lot of glitter to it. I do see a little tiny bit of color, but I am definitely seeing some glitter in this. And I think it goes well, it's just not a lot of pigment. I don't think I'm gonna wear this. I don't like the glitter in here. Sure as hell I ain't gonna wear that on my lips. Yeah, there is glitter in here. This, we're not keeping this. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, this is gonna go in the trash. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't mind the luminosity. Like I love a cream blush. I love to have a slight dewiness to it, but I, this has glitter and I'm too old for that. I'm gonna dip into the blush in this palette, which I remember being super pigmented and very glowy and just lightly. That looks like I have highlighter on. I'm loving how my base looks. Like everything looks smooth and glowy and just playing well together so far. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the one 
in this palette. Although I feel like I don't need much. Y'all know how I am with highlighter, so we're not even going to try to act like Barbara's not a highlighter fiend. I feel like this gives a more lit from within as opposed to like stark highlight. Or it may just be because of the cheek product because that's a lot. I'm going to go in with the one on the NYX palette. Whoa. A lot came up. Oh, yeah. That's more. That is definitely more. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I love how my base looks. Like, my face is dry. It doesn't feel wet. But, like, everything looks so glowy and just love. I'm gonna take my powder brush and just go a little bit over the front. I don't like to have too much of a glow like right in the front of my cheeks, but I like when I turn my head like that. For eyeliner, we are trying something new because this is something I need to see if I like or not. This is the Huda Beauty, uh, what's it called? Duo Eyeliner Pencil and Liquid. It looks like this. One side is a liquid and then the other side is a pencil so this is what the pencil looks like i'm gonna go ahead and use this i don't normally use a black on my bottom you guys know but we're gonna do it today just to use this that is dark dark i'm not having to press hard very pigmented so i'm gonna take my brown and just kind of smoke out underneath it from the eyeshadow palette. See how a difference that makes? And then I'm going to take a little bit of the pink and just go under that with the same brush just to tie everything back together. In the inner corner, I'm going to take the inner third at the bottom, I should say. I'm going to take that dark shimmery pink. Not dark, but I got you shade that we put on our lid like that. And then for inner corner, since this shade was more of a topper, I'm just going to go back in with the Stila. Not that it's not pretty, but like I said, it's just not what I expected. All right, so now we're going to use the liquid liner. Honestly, I'm a little nervous about this because when I swatched it, I do not like this brush at all. And I can't say that it's worth it to keep it just for a black eyeliner that I don't even wear a lot. So we're going to see. I just feel like this is going to be so hard to use and I'm nervous. Okay, it's not that bad. Ooh wee. I actually like how it applies. Girl, you was about to get sent back though. All right, I'm gonna do the other wing real quick and then I'm not putting this on my lid because I am going to use my Kiss liner and adhesive in one and I don't wanna have too much product on my eyelash, on my eyelid, sorry. All right, I went ahead and spared us all the trouble of seeing me try to fix my wings. That's as close as they're gonna get. I curled my lashes and I'm gonna try this Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. I did just get this. Oh no, that is a big brush. That is a huge brush. So we're gonna use this on my top lashes. I'm gonna try to use it on my bottom lashes, but baby. I'm thinking about doing mini reviews because I've done so many hauls and you guys asked me to keep you posted on what I like and don't like. And I need to do that too. So 
you're gonna see it eventually but yeah this is a good mascara it's not it's volumizing i don't feel like it's like super lengthening yeah i'm too nervous to use this on my bottom i mean i see it's definitely making a difference but i don't feel like i can use this brush like i normally do for lips I wasn't sure what I was gonna use, but I'm probably gonna use this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Aria. This is like a, I think it's gonna go. I have this Mary Kay liner in Dark Berry. We're gonna go with that. I thought this was the shade Cappuccino, which was gonna be a little too red, but this one's darker, like a dark purple almost. That is really dark. This does not look berry at all. This looks brown. <laughs> So I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit to help it blend in better. I'm smelling it because I've had this for so long and I'm like, if it smells bad, then it's probably not good. Well, I definitely think this goes with the way my eye look turned out with the pink and the brown. I like how that looks a lot. I feel like it is gonna dry down a lot, so might have to put an oil or something on top of it, but I like how that looks. All right, I'm gonna put my lashes on and I think that is gonna be it for everything I have on this table. So I will come back and give you a review. I will do some with my hair. I curled it and just let it sit and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right guys, I am back and can you tell I'm feeling this look? <laughs> if I come back with a big smile on my face, y'all know I did make one little change. I added some more blush because you know I love blush and I didn't feel like I had enough on. I use this Colored Rain Just Peachy Blush. Y'all, I love this. This is so pretty and at first I didn't think it was gonna go, but I think it does because of the Stila. I don't know, I made them work. It was an executive decision and I like it, but I love this blush. It says it's a highlighter. It says Just Peachy Pressed Highlighter. So you do have to use a light hand with it because it does have a sheen, but I just love the shade of it and it is so pigmented. So I did add a little bit of that. And because my lips are so matte, I'm gonna go over it with this Buxom. This is the, oh Lord, what color is this? Ha, <laughs> that's why I couldn't find it. This is actually a, Bare Minerals product. And I thought it was because it says Bare Essentials and it says ID on the front, but I've had this for so long and it is damn near wiped off. And then I had to take a picture of the sticker on the bottom and zoom in. This is Buxom Full Color Gloss in Lolita by Bare Minerals. So I had to Google, this looks like it is something that is pretty old but that is what it looks like. And yeah, it is a big, healthy, full color lip polished. So whatever, we're gonna put this on top. I'm sorry, that was a whole mess. It threw me off because it said Buxom on it. So I thought it was a Buxom gloss, but it is Bare Minerals. That is that, and that looks way better. I do feel like this is tingling already. So it is a plumping gloss. Anyway, this is the end of the look. Love how it turned out. Gonna do a quick rundown. I like this foundation. It is a little dark, but as you can see, we were able to make it work. I do not feel like it is full coverage. Like you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation. And I did put two, almost two pumps on. So I like it and I am gonna wear it. I like how it dries down, but still looks luminous. It does not feel like it is sticky or anything on my face, so like this. Um, as far as new stuff, I do like this concealer. I will continue to wear it. I need to try it by itself since I put other ones under it, but I like the coverage. I didn't like that I had to dip in a couple times to get enough product, but I like the shade and I think I'm gonna like it, but again, I'll try it on its own. What else was new? This eyeshadow palette. I like it. I just feel like it is something that I'm gonna have to use in as a companion palette with something else. I can't just use it by itself. I don't know, maybe if I put 
these shades together you can maybe pull it off but i just didn't feel like i had a really good transition shade and i had to do a lot of blending but i like how it turned out the shades are very pigmented and i like pink so i like the palette it's it's a good palette if you like pink you'll love it this little elf thing is going in the trash i don't do glitter on my face i like a sheen i like to glow but i don't like glitter so i'm not gonna keep this the mascara is good as far as the brush. It is huge. Um, I mean, I have on lashes now, so you can't really see it, but you saw the application. I like the volume of it, so I will continue to use this. These lip products, I like. I like the shade. My lips are still tingling, but I'm just glad they don't look shriveled up anymore. So we all know I don't tend to wear a lot of super matte lips, so I would need to put a balm underneath first, but I like the colors. I think everything else you guys have seen before. I like the eye primer. I will continue to use that. And I think that's it. The other two concealers, these will be more for like neutral. I just need some coverage under my eyes as opposed to if I'm doing a glam look. And this Fenty powder. It's too dark for my under eye. I don't have, I don't think I have any concealers that are so light that I would have to darken them with powder, but I'm gonna continue to use it for my face because this was expensive. I'm gonna use it, I like it. It's just not for my under eye. That is it, that is everything I used. I love the way the look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. And I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I have more favorites videos coming out. I didn't forget about you guys. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye.